a baby was just born, right now, this second, are they, or is he or she ever going to need to get a license? Uh, I don't think he or she uh, needs the, the, the driver license like, because that will be like 16 years away. I think the uh, self-driving car will come earlier than most of people think. Okay, so 16 years, we don't have licenses, but when does Baidu put its self-driving car on the road? Yeah, we already announced that uh, we will uh, make our car commercially available in three years, but in mass production in five years. Mass production in five years for any consumer to go and buy? Yes. So when you think about the landscape that these cars are just gonna be driving us and humans aren't going to need to be driving the cars, there's a fear about employment. There's a fear about all of these people who are employed right now about uh, whether it be in Uber or truck drivers or you, this is part of people's professions. What is going to be the impact and do you worry about what that impact will have on China's economy? Yeah, I think the while a new technology, while it's uh, reducing some jobs, but it will create more jobs. I mean, uh, for self-driving car, of course, you will need a lot more software engineers. Down the road with self-driving car, the uh, public transportation, the fleet will be much bigger than what we have today. And they still need some people to manage that, to repair that, <laughs> to, to handle that. How, does, how do these robots in the car communicate with each other? I mean, how, is there going to be a way for uh, the human, the, the driver to get into the middle of the conversation, especially the communication that happens on the road. You know, if you're driving and you see another uh, car come by and they, you, know, you, don't, you sort of ask each other who should go first, right? There's that human communication. I, I think right now the current traffic system or say the signals are designed for human beings to drive the car. So down the road, long term, uh, a lot of this will be changed. But in the midterm, during the transition, I think the car need to be uh, performed along with the, the, this, the, the current traffic system, okay. with some minor modification. Like, uh, I, I don't think right now the, the self-driving car uh, system can handle like a, a policeman like waving to right. you. So that's much harder for, right. easy for human beings, much harder for, for police. Off, well, but will there be a way for the car to sort of, let's say, and this is what I'm picturing, and you tell me if I'm wrong, I, uh, five, six years from now, I drive to work, but in the, as I'm driving to work, I'm actually working on my phone as the car is driving, yeah. right? Is this sort of the vision? Yeah. And, but something happened, the car needs my assistance, like whether it's talking to a policeman or talking to someone who's waving me through, how does the car get my attention somehow? I mean, like what is the communication between the car and the driver? For a full, uh, full self-driving car, fully self-driving car, uh, it doesn't need your attention. It should yeah. be able to communicate with the police officer itself. Mm -hmm. So maybe in, uh, in the future or in the transition, the police officer need to have some gadget that can signal that the car say, hey, please stop, and now you can go, go <laughs> fast. Yeah, maybe that, that could be, a, 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 these kind of minor changes can be, might need to, be, uh, need to happen before the self-driving car all go on the road in a mass production hmm. uh, fa fashion.